and we are doing Wire Lady TV today. So every Wednesday around 1 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, hop on and uh, watch me create something from uh, just off the fly. So today we're working on things with uh, guitar strings. So this should be a fun project. I'm just going to pull up the video as always on my computer so I can see you guys hopping on and we're going to get started pretty soon. I'll show you some projects I've been working on as well uh, so you can get an idea of uh, some other kinds of things I've been working on. been doing a lot with this same kind of technique inspired by Alexander Calder. I went to an exhibition of his work at the Musée de Beaux-Arts uh, Fine Arts Museum in Montreal a few years ago and um, he did some beautiful wire wrapped pendants so that was really interesting and um, I got inspired to do a design that's very similar to this guitar pick. So that's really cool. Hi Amber, how are you? So yeah, so today we're gonna do more with these uh, guitar strings. So that should be interesting. I, um, uh, Mimi had a guitar and I wanted to do something with the strings. So that's what uh, I've been working on now. And I'll show you a few other things that we've been working on. So uh, let me just, pull up the chat here. I'm going to get things opened up a little bit and just adjust that a little bit and hop on and let me know where you guys are watching from. Hi Clarice. Hi Lainey. How are you? And let me just do that. Perfect. So guys, I just also wanted to give you the heads up. Um, yeah, a few people are hopping on now. Hi Debbie. I just want to give you guys a head up, heads up that during the chat, I'm just going to pin a little comment at the top. Just let me get that uh, in there. Perfect. Uh, how do I do this? Oh, I had to. Oh, it's. Oh, I was going to do a pin comment, and it's too many words. So that's interesting. Let me just adjust this a little bit. It's just with regards to the chat because when you're hopping on the chat, I just want to make sure that. I just want to make sure that nobody is posting anything personal, nothing regards to health or mental health issues. I'm going to pin that at the top of the chat, if it's going to pin there. So yeah, just if you guys can please keep the comments with regards to the project at hand, that would be awesome. We're just going to, um, and if you have any issues anytime, about the chat, about the projects we're working on, please email me at info at heatherboydwire.com. So yes, yeah, so we, we're always moderating the chat to make sure we stay on track. I don't mind if you guys do a little small talk, uh, you know, sh uh, share what you're working on and stuff, but let's just keep everything positive. So that's, uh, that's what we're doing today. I've got to see what everybody's hopping on, guys. I'm missing everybody. Let me pull the comments back. Oh, I'm having trouble with my chat here. So we have Clarice is hopping on and Lauren's hopping on. Everybody's hopping on. So let me just pull back the comments. Mustafa, hey Mustafa. Jackie's here. Joan is here. Uh, Lauren, I said hello. Cassandra, hi Cassandra. Hi Jerry. And Peggy, hey Peggy, how you doing? And Amanda, I haven't seen you for a long time. Nice to see you. And Neil, wow, some regulars that haven't been here in a long time. So Deb is here. And, uh, oh, wow, 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 you guys are awesome. And Wendy, fantastic. So guys, I'm going to flip the screen around and we're gonna get making some stuff with the guitar strings. I've been having so much fun with these projects. So let me just turn this around here. Perfect, so we're gonna just turn this around. Joan says, I got some guitar wires yesterday afternoon from a friend and we'll pick up more this afternoon. Fantastic. So here are the ones we did uh, previously with the guitar picks. And, um, uh, and then we're going to just, I want to show you some of these things that uh, I've been working on that some did and some didn't work so well. So here was another guitar pick actually that we did uh, on what, I think it was, this was the Let's Get Wired live stream where I used lacquer to go on there. And I use a crystal clear lacquer and it's non-toxic. Hi, hi Lone, how are you? And so this one, um, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but on the Let's Get Wired live stream, I tried to do like a little cube and I made a box 
like to put it in and to and I poured some of the non-toxic resin that I had in there but unfortunately it didn't work so the one that I have the crystal clear lacquer is more for thin layers somebody had asked me if it could be used in a mold and it can't because it just didn't really work properly it, it stayed gluey it didn't really work so I'm looking into getting some UV resin like Mustafa had suggested so I'm pretty excited about that so uh, so that's what I'm going to be working on maybe I'll do um, a live stream about that working with the lacquer so Anna Marie says from Naples fantastic beautiful so I actually even bought one of these molds at Michael's to do one of these um they, they're called organite uh, pyramids so that's something that I want to do it's like a two-piece mold where you can actually make a pyramid with the uh, UV lacquer or epoxy resin I guess they use for that so that's something I'm going to be using uh, working on for sure so now what we're going to do is, yeah, I actually, these, these picks were actually from Archambault. They give them out at the Archambault store, but I scratched off their logo. So that's, um, that's where I got these picks. And you can also order the picks online in many different colors, which is cool. So now what we're going to do is, here's the guitar strings. So let's get going with that. I'm going to just put that over to the side. I have all kinds of like different finding and findings and stuff. So I thought to start, why don't we just start to do like a really super simple bracelet. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to do a very simple bracelet. Hi, Ginger. How are you? Uh, I uploaded pics of some guitar, some pics of guitar picks you can buy on Discord under perfect under the live streams. Fantastic. Yeah. If you search Amazon for guitar picks, there's tons of different kinds of guitar picks that you can use uh, that you can buy in different colors. There's some with like Harley Davidson logos. There's all kinds of like cool ones that you can buy. So now what I'm going to do is um, just take one of these uh, thicker ones of the guitar strings. Now somebody did tell me what each of these strings represents, but I forget which which was which and look I wonder if you could even use this maybe I won't even cut that and use that for the bracelet so why don't we try that to start to do something really simple oh hi Ashita how are you and Kat uh Amber said hi Kat so I cat oh there she there's Kat I see you how are you good so now let's just go ahead oh there we go Wendy's got it E a D G B E. So is E the thickest one? Maybe this is an E string. So what I want to do is I'll just, I'm just going to see if this is going to work where we just do like a very basic band. So I th what we would do is just cut it with this. Okay. We're just going to cut that and, um, the water. Okay. Have a meeting. Okay. Well, thanks for hopping on to say hello. So this is what I've got here. I'm going to show you what else I have to work with. Uh, I think I have some gold crimps too, but I also, the gold might not match exactly, but it's okay. The E is the thinnest. Okay, cool. Oh, now there are my cookies that are just uh, ready. I'll just pull those out of the oven. I made some peanut butter cookies. There we go. Okay, sorry guys. I was going to delay the live stream until after they were done and I thought, no, I'm going to go ahead and just do them. So I'm good. Yeah, thank you. So ease the thinnest. Cool. So now this is what I was thinking to do with this. I think you can also do a crimp because you can't really bend this so well like with the... Um, uh, with the uh, tiger tail like some of the thinner ones you could bend like tiger tail but I was thinking why don't we just try it with this and if I also have crimps I think I had some gold crimps but I just have to see if they're going to fit on there because they might or might not fit but if they fit I can try to use the crimps on there as well Jewelry with guitar strings, mind blown. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure a lot of other people have tried different designs, but I want to try to do some different things. So we're going to see how it goes. I'm going to put just a bead on there. I'm just looking in my beads to see what I can do. Because if you want to put beads in the middle, you're going to have to crimp them. So I'm going to see if this one's going to fit. Oh, it actually fits. So that's good. So we're going to put a crimp on there. And Paula says, hi, everybody. Hello, hello. And uh, now we're going to try to stick this one on. I don't know if the, why, if the hole is big enough. Actually, the hole might not be big enough in this bead. I had already wound it with, with wires. So maybe what I'll do is I'll get a bigger one. 
but I like the way that's wound with wires. So I might, I might also do that, but this is the cat's eye bead. Let's just do a simple, let's just do a simple one for now. So we're going to just put that one on there. Uh, not cat's eye. This is a miracle bead. How did I make that mistake? And uh, perfect. Hi, Anna Maria. Nice. So let's get another crimp on there. I think these are about a two millimeter crimp. So I'll just get that one in there. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Colored strings. Okay. Yeah, I guess you can. Uh, anything about gu guitar string gauges? Well, um, I don't know what exactly the gauge is, but this looks like it's probably 18 gauge, I would say. So this one looks 18 gauge. Uh, you could probably, I guess, measure it or compare it to some wire that you already have. So now what I would do is just crimp this in place and hope that it's going to hold. Uh, yeah, it seems to hold okay. So we're just going to go there and we're going to do this one. And the other thing I wanted to try was some kind of ring because I think that would be super cool to do a ring with a guitar string. So that holds. I mean, it would have been super funky with the spiral on the wire, but just for the sake of making samples, I'm not going to. I'm not going to uh, do that. Okay. No, you're not late at all. We're just. This is the first project. We're just starting. I have a chart and can take a pic and post it on Discord. That would be amazing. Fantastic. So now we're going to just, I want to put a little thing on the end there. So like I said, usually you would just bend it over and put a crimp, but because this is very stiff, I'm going to try it with this. If you have another kind of end that you want to use that you could also do that. And you know, you could also like not leave that one on there and put two springs on either end as well. Yeah. Guitar strings are very springy. That's a tongue twister, but you're right. They are very, very springy for sure. So now, um, and Atika's here, hello, hello. So now we're going to just like, I just reason, I'm not cutting with those. I use my cutters just to split the, the spring open. So just a little bit. And then I go ahead and take this one and make a loop on the end. So now we have a spring end and we're just going to put this one on the end here. It's a little bit large. I could probably make my own out of wire, but just for the sake of using what I have, I'm going to just go ahead and do that. So now what you're going to want to do is pinch that end on there. So hold it in your hand like that with your fingers on either side, and then just give that a pinch. You could put a dab of crazy glue on there too if you wanted, and we're just going to give that a little pinch in and hopefully it's going to stay. So let's just do that. Give that a little pinch in. Yeah, I think that's gonna stay. So now we have two, these two ends like this. They're very, very springy. So now let's just go ahead and get some findings. I have a, a hook here and I have some jump rings. So we're gonna get the hook and the jump ring on there. Uh, maybe a couple of these. Uh, I don't have a great other class, but I'll just use these ones for now. If I had a split ring, it would be better, but it's okay. Uh, I nearly took an eye out with them. That's with your guitar strings. Yeah, they're very, very springy. You have to be careful here. Just let me grab another pair of flat pliers. I actually have two pairs of these beautiful blue pliers from, uh, this is from the John Bead Company. I used to shop there when I did a lot of craft shows in Toronto. Uh, it's a huge wholesaler in Toronto, and they still they do wholesale online, of course. But the trouble I stopped shopping at John Beads because you have to buy a minimum of three hundred dollars worth at their uh, at their store. So I actually stopped shopping there, and a lot of stuff you can get online now. I used to shop there when there was like no online, uh, you know, buying and selling and all that stuff. So we're just going to put the hook on that end, and let's put this end. Nina, hi Nina, how are you? Nice. So now we're just going to open up this end. And there we go, I'm gonna open this up. My hands are a little shaky, I haven't eaten lunch, so this might or might not have been a good idea to do a live stream before lunch, but we're gonna see how it goes. And I'm just gonna open that one up there, and we're just gonna stick that one on there. So let's just stick that one on there, and we're going to that's kind of cool. I like the way using that end as part of the jewelry. I think it's super funky. You can even do earrings or something with those hanging down. That would be really neat. So now let's go ahead and close this end up. We're just going to get that one in there and close it up. 
Like I said, it would be better if you had a split ring, but that's okay. So let's just see if it's going to even hold shut. So very basic bracelet. You can put a bunch of different beads on there. I was thinking it would be fun to do several. I'm going to try one with several strands and, um, and just to do that, we're going to see. So now we're going to, yeah, so it's a little bit springy like that. I don't know if you, if you bend it. At, yeah, I guess maybe you could bend it a bit so it's not so like, yeah, look, you can slightly bend it in a way to mold it so it's a little bit more of an oval shape. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. Guys, that's pretty cool. So I like that. And now let's go ahead and and let me know in the comments if you guys are, uh, you know, are, are making stuff with guitar strings. If you do, if you do make anything with the guitar strings, you can post them in the uh, post live stream uh, section of Discord. You can definitely do that, and uh, and then we can see what each other are working on. So uh, yeah, and I'll check I'll check the Discord group after the live stream. So now, if I want to do one with several layers. I don't know if it's going to work, but I was going to try one with several layers. So if we just take this one, okay, perfect. So now we're going to just cut these string, these pieces of wire. So now let's just cut these all the right size. And yeah, so, and just a little reminder, guys, I have a pinned comment at the top of the page just to say that, um, uh, please don't post any personal comments uh, about, you know, health, mental health and physical health issues in the group, uh, just because we're trying to keep on track with discussion about wire art and jewelry. So, so let's just keep on track here. And if you guys have any issues at all, just email me at info at heatherboydwire.com. And uh, if you need to discuss anything, so that would be great. So now I've cut three pieces of wire and we're going to try to bracelet, do a bracelet with three pieces of wire and see how that's going to work. I don't know if these um, springs are going to fit on there or not. I'm going to have a lot. Uh, I'm going to have a look and see what it, what happens with that. So if it doesn't work, that's okay. I thought it might be cool if we put like uh, these three strings through the spring and then uh, tried to just put like a bead in between, but these might be too small. I'm gonna see if I have some bigger springs to do with that, and then we'll go from there. So let me just have a look and see if I have some bigger springs and to do sort of a three strand. Post a, a chart with a package on Discord, fantastic. So is that in the post live stream section? Uh, that would be great. And then Mustafa, maybe you can post a, a link to Discord so people can join Discord and uh, I'll hop over there after the live stream to uh, check out what everybody is, is posting, if anybody's posting uh, things in there. And so now we're going to take these ones out. Uh, perfect. So, okay, Wendy, we'll, we'll talk to you later. And now we're going to just open up this bag. Oh, it's very stiff. These zippy bags sometimes don't work very well. So now we're gonna put a couple of springs here and see if we can put several on there. Uh, want to do the multi-strings after I get more, yes. Yeah, these are, um, what strings are those? I'm not sure which note these are because they're not marked, but this I would say is one of the middle one of the middle size ones. It might be like the third one, like the third largest size. I'm not quite sure. So now, hi, Miss Demi, how are you? So what I was thinking is maybe you can put like a spring like this and then let's just try it. I might not have cut it large enough, but I'm gonna just try this just because I really don't mind trying things even if they don't work because that way you guys get the benefit of seeing, you know, if it works or not and then you know what's advantageous to work on or not. So now if we just do like pinch those, I think they're gonna hold in place. And then say you put, oh, I probably did it too close to the end, but that's okay. So now if we wanna put a few beads in between, you could also just wind that with wire if you don't have a spring, which actually might, you know what? I'm thinking winding it with wire might be nicer. So maybe I'm gonna pull that one back. Okay, perfect. Uh, I meant, what springs? Oh, springs. These, I'm not quite sure what size these are, but they look like about a five millimeter 
Or maybe I think they're like four millimeter, maybe four millimeter, four by five, something like that. But I've, I'm backtracking and I think I'm gonna do it with wire instead because I find them a little bit too round. So I'm gonna get some 20 gauge wire and see what I can do with that. So let's get the 20 gauge wire. Oh, thanks Mustafa. So Mustafa's posted the link to Discord. So you guys can check these links and uh, also pictures of uh, work. I'll, put, I'll post pictures of this uh, these items in the post um, live stream section. So it's like hashtag post dash live streams that you can you can see all this stuff. So I'm going to try to wrap this instead of doing the spring. It might work a little bit better. So let's just try to wrap this around and we'll see what's going to happen. So we're going to bring that around here. And I don't know how many times, maybe just that many times, like four times, and then we'll just clip it. So it could be a G. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. i I really can't treat, keep track of these uh, strings, but if ever I bought a pack specifically, oh, I have, look, I have a chart here. There we go, there's the chart. And so each color says it's a different spring. So this was brass. Oh, so this is the E string. The, this previous one was the E string. And then the other one I'm working on, yeah, maybe it's a D string, I'm not sure. Or a G, you said, or it could be the G string. Yeah, it could be. I didn't even think to look on that. Okay, uh, the cord ends on necklaces. Yes, yeah, definitely, yeah. You could use the little cord ends for uh, from necklaces and stuff for these uh, bracelets as well. But I'm just thinking this spring might work better because it's a little more flat. So I'm just gonna try to pinch that in place. I think it works better than the round one because it, you do want these strings to be parallel and flat. Oh, I, you know what I should have done is five. If I had done five, it would have looked like a like a um, staff. So that would be another idea to do. Maybe I'll try another one like that after and do, if you did five strings, it would look like a staff. And then you could do like little treble clefts and stuff on there. That would be super awesome. I definitely want to try that. So now we've got these ends attached. So let's say we're just gonna put a few beads on there. Perfect. And uh, post a link a few minutes. Okay, perfect, awesome. Okay, so now let me just put some beads on there. We're gonna just stick the four millimeter bead. And then, uh, I don't know if I want to do them all red or not. Maybe I'll do some different colors this time. Uh, what can I do? Uh, maybe some blue, oh, this is where I get indecisive and don't know what to post, so what to, beads to use. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna put on the purple, and we are going to put on a purple shiny, and see, I don't know if that's what I wanna do. We're gonna, we're just gonna play with it for a minute. And then maybe a, a bigger one in the middle. We're gonna try a bigger one. I don't wanna put too many either. Oh no. Okay, so let me just try. Okay, so duh, 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 duh. okay. Sometimes when we moderate, um, when sometimes when we moderate the chat, some things get deleted by mistake. So if uh, if something was deleted and you feel that it's okay to repost, you can repost it. That's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it, Mustafa. It's fine. Yeah, we're just trying to keep track. If you guys are wondering, we're trying to keep track of the chat because um, we really want to keep on track with the subject of wire art and jewelry. So if anybody posts any comments that are too personal, that are related to health uh, issues or things like that, uh, we're just going to try to keep them out of the chat just to keep on track. So if you've made a comment and you feel that it shouldn't have been deleted, you can repost it or you can contact me after the live stream. That's not a problem at all. So there we go. So we're just going to now, this looks pretty. So we're going to attach this like that and I'm going to wind the end with the uh, with the wire so there we go perfect and a half wire round might be a good way to go around the strings that's an idea too half round yeah I don't have any half round wire all I have is just regular wire so I've never tried the half round so but see if you put it in there like that this might work Okay, and then we're going to wind this around. So we're just gonna bring this here. We're going to wind these around 
here. So there we go. So let me just, oh, this is awkward to hold. Maybe if I hold it the other way, we're just gonna hold it around this way. I wanna keep this wide enough. Yeah, this might or might not work. We're gonna see, we're gonna see, cause maybe, maybe these should actually be a little bit wider, but then they kind of flip all over the place. Yeah, see, it's in doing this that we're gonna see if it actually works or not. So let me just do that there. And ordered some copper strings on AliExpress. Cool, that's cool. So let me just attach this one here. Yeah, this will definitely be an experiment. I don't know if it's going to work. And uh, we're just gonna wind this around a few times. Yeah, might, might or might not work. So this has to come to here and then this one to here. So yeah, this it's because they're so springy. I don't know if they're gonna stay in place or not. So we'll just see. We're gonna, it doesn't hurt to try. Hi Jenny, how are you? So now we're gonna just cut this here and see what we can do to arrange this to fit in place. So we're gonna go here and around here. Yeah, just wiggle it around. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna need to put other wires in there to hold it in place. It might, it might just settle in place at some point. So let's just wiggle it around a little bit. It's kind of cool. It's a little bit stiff. Yeah, see, these are kind of flipping around there but I'm gonna try it anyways, we're gonna see. Perfect. Oh, okay, oh no. Okay, perfect, good. Okay, so you guys are good. Yeah, sorry we're troubleshooting with the moderation of comments, guys, so uh, just bear with us. This is the first time we've, uh, we're trying to, trying to troubleshoot here. So there we go, so we've got it. There we go, perfect. Uh, Kimmy says, thank you for sharing your talents with us. I'm inspired to start a small business. Awesome, that's fantastic. Yeah, you get, we, we got you. <laughs> no, no, it's good, Joan. Joan, we're just playing around with trying to moderate the comments to keep things on track uh, with regards to wire art and jewelry. And sometimes uh, we might click something by mistake and, uh, and things get hidden. But as long as your comments, everybody's comments are on track, uh, we just don't want uh, people discussing any personal issues uh, in the comments. So that's where we're at today. So there's our bracelet. And now what we wanna do is put the little spring ends on there. And because I don't have either end of the guitar string, I'm just gonna to have to do it with the spring end. So let me just even these out. These cutters are, I really hope I don't break my cutters. And then this one on this side, they're not gonna be perfect, but it should be okay. So there we go. I'm a silent viewer, it's all good. So uh, non-tarnished wires. So for non-tarnished wires, I prefer the Beadalon, um, the, the Beadalon artistic wire. That's my preference. I find the para wire a little bit soft. And so I usually buy the non-tarnished or tarnish resistant brass and tarnish resistant uh, copper. Those are the ones that I like the best. Uh, hi everyone from, and you put your flag, but I'm sorry, I can't see the flag. So I'm not sure what country that is. I can barely see it on my computer. So there we go, Cats Creations, I've only made bangles from guitar strings. Yes, yeah, so yeah, so the bangle, Maybe you mean like a little bit like that. So that's very simple, but I think the sky's the limit. And the one we did, I did on Tip Tuesday was this guitar pick wrapped with the guitar strings. So that was super cool. And uh, I wanna try some more designs. I wanna even try a ring. So we're gonna see, maybe after this one, I'll try the ring. Uh, Philippines, nice. My sister-in-law is from the Philippines. I've, um, I've never been, and she hasn't been back since she moved to Canada uh, when she was in her 20s, I think. So uh, yeah, there we go. So perfect. So there's our spring ends. Let's see what we can do with those. And same thing, maybe I should have actually just uh, made my own little spring end, but I'm going to just try to use these to see. Oh, you know what would have been better is a flat spring end. Let me just see. I have all these metal findings. And you know what? I do have, I don't know if it's going to work better. I have these ones. I don't know if they're going to work any better though. Let me try these. The color is off, but we're going to see. There we go. Perfect. Now we're going to do that. 
Uh, Mustafa, I think it's all good now, eh? The in the chat, I think we're good for for. I think Joan's comments can be seen now, as far as I know. Yeah, yeah, she's good. Yeah, yeah, I think we're good. So just let me know uh, if uh, everything's going on uh, okay with the with the comments. So now we're going to just take these. I don't know. See this? I don't know if it's going to work well for this one or not. Like this is more of a flat one, which might be okay. Maybe I'll try it just to see. So this is some other kind of like end from a, for a, a necklace wire. So let's just bend this here. Perfect. Let's see if that's going to work. I might not grip it well enough, but we can see. So if we bend that one, it's just, I kind of like it because it's flatter than the spring, but I'm not sure I like the look of it. So let me just see. Uh, seen and nothing was deleted. Perfect. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, you know what? I don't, I don't really like this. Although, well, it's sticking. Let me just try. I'll keep trying. The color is hideous. It's like a, a really yellow, uh, a really yellowy uh, gold type of thing. But yeah, and it doesn't finish too well. Why don't I try a different one on each side? Yeah, that one looks not too good. So let me remove that one. I don't like the way it looks. So if you do have a good uh, end for, you know, that you use for necklaces and stuff that you think would work, just use it. But that one, I don't like the way it looks. So let's try with the spring ends now. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. And let me just do that. Uh, okay, perfect. So now I am just going to put this little one on the end here. I'm back and curious when I restring my guitar, get quite dirty. Hmm, does the jewelry... Uh, these strings have been used, so they're definitely, if there was any grease or anything on them, uh, like, you know, sometimes they put like a, a oil or something on maybe on the on the wires before you install them. Uh, these ones are clean, so that's totally fine. Uh, yeah, everybody in the chat are jewelry makers, as far as I know. Uh, yeah, and uh, a lot of you guys are regulars that always hop on the live stream, so that's super cool. Um there we go. So now we're just going to, oh boy, if I can, it's now it's like, how do you actually hold this to pinch it in place? That's the other thing, how to hold it without it snapping and going anywhere. So let's see if I do it this way, maybe if I do it this way, you know, I just want to make sure these stay lined up. So we're going to keep these lined up and uh, just let me pinch it like that. Maybe that's gonna work. And then I'm gonna have to move it up a bit, I think. Yeah, this is the tricky part is actually getting this to hold in place. Sometimes you just have to be aggressive and just like really push it. So let's see what we're gonna do here. Oh, I'm almost better just to do it with my own wire. You know what, I'm gonna try to do it with my own wire because this is just being really fiddly. Do they rust? That's a good question. Do guitar strings rust? Do you guys know? Let me know. Yeah, let me know because I really, um, they don't, I mean, these ones haven't seemed to rust and we had them for years, but maybe if you keep them in a place that has like uh, a lot of humidity, they might rust. Yeah, yeah. It's gaming with them. Hello, gaming with them. This is cool. Thank you. Yeah, so we're doing all... Um, jewelry with guitar strings today and if you're just hopping on this is the one I did on tip Tuesday it's a pick that's surrounded with guitar strings so that's cool a used guitar string can get dull if it loses the metal coating uh, not if they are brass okay cool yeah Florida has a lot of humidity for sure so what I'm trying to do here we're going to see if it's going to work or not is do a kind of like a loop on the end. And the reason I did that was just to get it to have a little bit more something to grip onto. So what I'm going to try to do, and we're going to see if it's going to work, is just start by doing like a little loopy thing here. And let's see if this is going to work. And if it doesn't work, I'll go back to the spring idea because this might or might, it's very tricky to do. So this way, and then I hold it and then I wind it around, gripping, making sure to grip that little piece at the same time, the little metal piece, going around and around, 
we'll see how it's gonna look and then it's like making my own spring but I've got like a little extra bit on there and then as long as you go beyond the end of your little stick looks a little weird but we're gonna see so we're just gonna push this one up a little bit okay let's push it up a little bit um squeeze it <sighs> there we go that's tricky and then if you just clip the end it's getting very distorted but I think the potential is here guys I think there's a lot that you can do I need a third hand you are a hundred percent right I definitely need a third hand to do this because now this is getting a little weird and squished here as well but it's somewhat interesting I don't mind the way that looks uh, with the I put the stick inside but let's try another way to do our own spring and see how that's gonna work so if I if I go the opposite way and I'll just take this wire I'm gonna hold these strings together now this is easier to grip so if we go like this wind it up okay we're gonna wind it up like this this might or might not be that solid though so what if we go up like this okay all the way up okay just to the top and then we do a loop okay let's try a loop now we're going to go around and yeah we could remove it as well but let's try to do a loop around here i'm going to just loop it around hopefully you guys can still see what i'm doing so i'm just doing the opposite of what i did on the other side so if i go here and do a loop but i really don't want it to fall off and i don't want this spring to come undone so what if I just take this I'm gonna bring it around hmm yeah wait I'm gonna try to come around the other way so I'm gonna come around the front I'm gonna come around the front here okay right there and then bring this around to the back okay so we've got like that and then what I'll do first is I'm gonna clip this end Okay, I'm going to clip this end here just to get rid of that one end. Okay, we'll get, get rid of that one end. Nice to meet you guys. Nice, thanks for hopping on, Kimmy. Yeah. Yeah, I realize it might be really late where some people are, and um, that's, the, that's the trouble. We're in Montreal, so it's mid-afternoon uh, our time, but I know in a lot of places it's a lot later. In some places it's a lot earlier. So, so now we're going to... I have this, these little ends are sticking out a little bit. So maybe I'll try to push them down a little bit because we don't want those ends sticking out. And what if I just take this, you know what I could have done is left some space in between these. I do that sometimes. Let me just try, I'm gonna see if it's gonna work. Sometimes if you leave space in between the springs, then after you can wind back in between them. You know what, I'm gonna start again and we're gonna try it that way. So let me try, um, perfect. So let me try to do this again, but I'm gonna leave space in between my springs so I could come back the way I came. So I'm gonna hold this one here and go up, but as I do my spring, rather than or my coil, rather than doing them like super close together, I'm leaving a little bit of space in between each one. So we're gonna leave a little bit of space in between each one, uh, maybe up to this point. And then I want to do a loop, but I wanna go back the way I came. So I think what I wanna do is go to, towards the front. Okay, so if I go around this way towards the front, Let's see if that's gonna work. And then try to go back the way I came. So let me try that, if, see if it's gonna work around here. Hopefully I did it the right way, yes. So guys, this works. I'm going back the way I came and then it's creating a really nice, tight coil. Let me clip the back one to get rid of it. So I'm gonna clip this one this is working really well. I'm really happy for this. So now, there we go. Um, perfect. Metal guitar had rusted. Oh no, yeah, that's the trouble with the humidity. Uh, and it really depends on where you live because the wires or, or metals can rust if it's too much 
humid. So we're okay in Montreal, but certainly I can see in a lot of places like Florida and other places, um, you might have that problem. Now, this is sort of like my wires have got a little distorted and some are like further up than others. So I don't know, it might be too late to adjust that because I've already pinched the wire, but that's something you can keep in mind is try to keep these all parallel. So now we're going to do this. And uh, kids are not condu uh, conductive to uh, crafting. Yeah, I've been there, done that. So thanks for hopping on, and You could definitely watch the replay. And we're going to just come back, see, the way we came. So now it makes a nice tight, uh, not only does it make a nice tight spring, but it's... Um, your both wires have come back down, so you don't have a loose wire at the top. You, this thing isn't going to come. You know how sometimes springs just like, say you've done a spring, and just to show you guys, say you, you've done your spring, and it's attached on one end. Let me just hold this. If it, whoa, okay. So if it's, say you've done a spring, let me just hold this out. And it's attached on the bracelet that way, but then if you catch this on something, it'll just do that. So that's a, that's a problem. So this way, you won't have that problem because the wires come back on itself. It should be more solid. I'm gonna watch the earring hook tutorial. Yes, awesome. Yeah, there's lots of tutorials. Uh, if you're looking for certain li like little tips and things, I have tons and I have a search, there's a search bar on all the YouTube channels. So you can actually search individual channels for specific tutorials. So that kind of works well, guys. I'm happy with that spring. It's a little bit long. I could have made it maybe a little bit shorter. We can tighten it up a little bit, but it's solid. That's not going anywhere. So that's very cool. The only problem is these strings were not like super lined up. They're, they're like a little bit like not well lined up. But now what we can maybe do is just try to sculpt it around. So I'm gonna watch yours, thank you. So now it slides off the wire, yeah. So now we're gonna just bend this around. I don't know if it helps to bend it around a round form, it might. Say so we just do that just to bend it around a little bit, we can try that. And then this one too, we can just bend it around. So these wires are super, super stiff. You could do the same design with tiger tail and it would work really nicely too. So. Um, yeah, these are, they're getting a little bit distorted. Definitely, uh, definitely needs some tweaking this design, but this is the idea. You know what would be cool is maybe to braid the guitar strings as well. So let's just put a little hook on the end of that one and then we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna get a little hook. Okay, now we are going to just take this one uh, gotta go get it, catch it later. Oh, thanks for hopping on. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks for hopping and um, you can watch the replay. And the nice thing about the replay is you can do like Amber does and watch me in fast motion, talk like a chipmunk and you can get through the video much quicker. Or you could just skip from uh, one, one place to another, just fast forwarded. So now we're going to close that up. This one's not closing super well. So we're gonna just close this one up. And yeah, we could try braiding these. If you only buy E, A, D strings, they are wrapped. Chipmunk, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's so funny. So now we're gonna just open this one up. And actually you don't even have to put a jump ring on that one. If you make the loop big enough, you can just go right into the loop. So we're just gonna put that one and then that one will go in there. So that's the idea, guys. This isn't sitting super well. Like I have to think of, you know, another way to do that, but it's not bad. Like it's considering, um, you know, that these are stiff. It's not too, too bad. So now, did Heather make the, uh, that cartoon of you? No, I haven't done it yet. It's still in my comic notes. I have a whole bunch of notes for my comics about um, different funny ideas. So that's one of them that's in the note. So now we have two things. We have the simple bracelet and we have that one. I also want to try some earrings and I want to try a ring. So why don't we just try, maybe use the big wire for the earrings. Like I was thinking we could just do like very simple type things like that. We're going to see how that goes. So what if we just take a couple of, this one's really stiff, but maybe I'll try... Is that the same as this? Maybe I'll try this one. It's a little less stiff. So if we just go something like that, and I'm just gonna cut this one, 
and then we'll go from there. Perfect. My neighbor is a musician, and I'm going to knock on his door. Awesome. Fantastic. That's great. Yeah, I know a lot of musicians, so if I need more guitar strings, I could definitely get them. That's not a problem whatsoever. So now, I remember when we did the, the rubber washer ones, we actually asked our drummer friend if he had any of those little black rubber washers, uh, but he didn't have any. So uh, I think you, people go through guitar strings much quicker than guitar, uh, than the drumsticks maybe. So here are these ones. So if we're going to do a kind of earring like we could let me just see I could do it like similar to what I did with some other ones let's let's keep it very simple and let me see what I have in the way of beads I like that idea of doing like the shiny ones in the middle so like if we do this one these are so stiff oh my goodness and then we put another the miracle bead we'll put like a a four millimeter miracle bead and let's put another one and oh brownies yes that would that would be good okay so now we're going to put this one here and so if we put that like that and you can also put some crimps on there if you want or you don't have to put crimps and then if we bring that one up here then we would have to put the little spring at the top so let's see if it's going to work with this spring and then we can try it that way and see and you know what would be cool is if we hung another loop down below but let me just see if we could do that with actually this spring as well so let me just try this if not i can do one out of wire we'll just do that hey there i want you to know i love your shows yay teach me a lot about jewelry making oh thank you My myra that's i really appreciate that i have so much fun doing these live streams and it always makes me really happy when you guys uh, say that you that you enjoy them so that's great yeah especially these the lives the this this show is super fun and the let's get wired is super fun when we uh, when we share pictures of our work oh now this snapped so maybe that's not as good a plan as I thought, but I'll just try another one. Sometimes if you bend it too much, they can snap. So I'm just gonna give it a little. I just do that, whoops, that didn't work. I just do that to separate the springs, not to cut them. So let's just do this. We can just take this one and give it a little bit of a, oh boy, I'm not having fun, not having a, a good luck with that. So let's try it with wire if that's not gonna work so well. So let's just try some 20 gauge wire. And I was gonna do it with that, but it didn't work too well. Should try YouTube Shorts. Yes, I've heard about YouTube Shorts because I actually used to have a TikTok channel and I was posting, you know, some DIY stuff and, and ring making and stuff, but I found it didn't work very well, but I am gonna try the YouTube Shorts because I think that's a great way to um, do some like really quick, quick videos uh, so yeah thanks Mustafa for reminding me about that I really should try that and uh, so now let me just see what if we do I'm just gonna try something what if we go up here go around here because you could simply just put like a little thing at the top but what if I just want to see if this would work if I did that type of thing and then take these these are so stiff and then just hold them together and then take this one here. I might give up on this one. Yeah, because this is going to be really hard to hold. So I don't know. No, I don't think that's going to work. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to start from scratch. I never signed up for TikTok. Yeah, I deleted my TikTok account. I swear about four times because it just I just found it was not super useful so um so i have a tiktok account now but i think i'm going to delete it again because it's i found it to be a little bit of a waste of time um, and not really that relevant to what i'm doing so if you do tiktok like if, if people want to really succeed on tiktok you have to devote a lot of time to it so i think i don't have the time for that right now oh it's banned in india well they talked about banning it in um in the States, but I don't know what happened with that because people are still on TikTok. So maybe the ban didn't actually work. So now we're gonna go up here and I'm gonna make my own little 
spring, like those gold ones. So if I go up like about five times and then, because what I wanted to do was to hang a bead in the middle of this as well. So I'm going to take this one and hello from Tokyo, Japan. Hello, Rose. Awesome. I've never been to Japan, but it's I'm sure it's very, a very beautiful country. And my uh, parents used to have friends that lived in Osaka and they taught English there for many, many years. They moved there after university um, back, I guess, in the 50s and they stayed there their their whole lives. So, uh, so and my parents went to visit them in Japan. So that's really cool. So now we're going to just do another loop at the top. So we're going to have like two loops. Just making my own little spring with loop ends here. I love how she explains every little bit. Nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I am. Um, I think I'm a born teacher. I love teaching. I used to teach a lot of uh, kids workshops at libraries and schools, and I used to teach art at a local art school. And I really truly believe, guys, that when you teach, you learn. And so I learn as much doing these as you guys do. So it's uh, thank you for being on the journey. It's really really fun. So now we're going to just put these two ends together, hold them tightly because they are very springy, and see if they're going to fit in this spring end. So Karen, quick low, just got notified. Okay, hi Karen. Yeah, YouTube's being really funny with their late notifications. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that, but um, yeah, for some reason the notifications are going out late these days. Oh no, look at that. I've made this too... Uh, I've made it too small. So let's get another size. We have another size guitar string. I actually don't think I do. I think this is maybe the smallest one I had, but I made this, I made this too small. So boy, we're going to try again. We're going to try one. I'm going to use a 1.5 millimeter piece of wire to wind my wire around just to see if that's going to work better. So let's try one more time and see if it's going to uh, see if it's going to work. You're a wonderful teacher. Oh, thank you, Mustafa. I really appreciate it. And so now we're going to take this and do a bunch of turns. Three, four, five. Perfect. So let's try it with the 1.5 uh, millimeter uh, wire to make a bigger loop and let's before we go to the trouble of making this the loops let's see let's test if these two strings are going to fit in there so we're going to go in there are they going to fit they're still not going to fit oh my goodness so let's open it up a little bit let's just backtrack it a little bit oh so they wouldn't have fit those strings wouldn't have fit in the tiny springs anyway so if i just bring these wires like opposite direction, it should open up the spring a little bit. So let's go here. Hello, y'all. And from PA, nice, Pennsylvania, cool. I made a bracelet and necklace works much better when unraveling an inch or two of the coil. Ooh, now that's a good idea too. That's a great idea. Um, the reason I don't want to unravel it too much is because I kind of like the fact that there's the wire is coiled around and so when you do pinch it with the with the spring it'll help hold it in place because there's a bit of like uh, texture there there's something to grip onto whereas if you remove the coil uh, you might have trouble with that so Joan let me know in the comments what you do to hold it in place so that it doesn't fall like so it doesn't fall out so let's just I'm going to try something else I'm going to just do it by, I'm just going to do it by hand because this is uh, not, my springs aren't big enough unless I use these springs. Let's try these springs, the thicker one. I don't know why I didn't think about that. So we're going to try the thicker spring. It's maybe too thick, but maybe better too thick than not thick enough. So there's one and then let's do the other one. We're just going to pinch that one and bring that one over. Perfect. So now we've got these two like that. I kind of wish they were like parallel, but they're a little bit off, but that's okay. So now if we take these, we have to put our beads back on there. So let's put our beads back on the string. And uh, yeah, and then after this, I'm going to see if there's a way I could do a little ring. So you make a little loop 
Okay, you make a loop with the unraveled part of the string. Okay, let's try that after. Yeah, that's a great idea because that way, yeah, let's see. And so it does it hold in place or is it like memory wire that kind of like springs all over the place? So if we put these ones in here, yeah, that's still not going to work because it's going to be really hard to squish it unless it squishes well. Let's try it. And if it doesn't, yeah, this is not going to work. No, let's try Joan's idea and see if that's going to work because Joan, do you have a do you have a method to take this the the wires off the off the end of the off the end of the uh, string? Let me know. Oh look, if you pull it, look at that. Wee! It just pulls off, guys. Oh my goodness, that's interesting. So look, it just if you pull it, it pulls off. Ooh, you could do something really fun with this wire. Oh my goodness, brilliant idea, Joan. I love it. Uh, hi, Ivy. So let's try that. So if we're going to pull this little bit, I kind of don't even want to cut it off. It looks like hair. Ooh, I love that. So maybe I'll sh save it. I'm going to save that little bit. That was a brilliant idea. I would have never thought to do that. So let's save. We can save this for our little wire scraps workshop. So now let's go ahead and do the same on this side. So we're just going to pull it a little bit. I'm just trying to grip it. Yeah, look guys, that's brilliant. I love that. So now we're going to pull it. Whee! This is fun. And then we're going to clip that off and we can use that for hair. You pulled it with pliers. Nice. Uh, the millimeter of the wire. So this, these are guitar strings. So I can't tell you exactly the millimeter of the wire. It This one looks like uh, 20 millimeters and then the one I did on my first bracelet looks like 18 so I can't tell you exactly but that's the approximate size of the millimeter of the wire so now let's put these beads back okay we're going to put the beads back on there maybe I'll even crimp them in place that is so cool with the with the um the spring like how how that works so let's put that one on there and let's put this one on here. Joan saved the day. Yes. Joan gets a prize. <laughs> she gets a hero biscuit. Yay. So now we are going to, let me get a couple of crimps and put them on the end. Oh, I kind of like the idea of putting some metal beads in there too. Maybe I'll also put a couple of metal spacer beads. That would be cool. I'm just going to get a crimp. Yeah, that is so brilliant. I would have never thought to do that. So now we've got those and let's put some spacer beads. Hi, Rose. So now we're going to just remove that one. Actually, I'll just remove them both. I'm gonna put a spacer bead here and a faceted bead here and the, oops, another spacer bead. Just, I like using metal spacer beads because it just makes it look a little bit more polished and finished and a little more fancy. So that looks really pretty, I like that. And so now let's put our crimps on either side and then we're gonna see how well this is gonna bend. So we're making earrings right now. We made some bracelets and uh, this it was sort of like an extension of the Tip Tuesday video I did where we made the guitar pick wrapped in guitar strings. Ashita's back, awesome. Musical earrings, yes, exactly. So now let's just go ahead and make sure they're centered. Hopefully they're centered. I can measure them, but I could also just wing it, but maybe I should measure them. Let me get a ruler just to be sure that it is centered. So we have this ruler and the just so this will be good for you guys to know the length of the wire. So if we have the, the length of the wire is about one, two, three, four, it's almost a little more than four inches. And then this bead should be in the middle. So if this bead is here, and hopefully it won't slide. And now I'm going to pinch that in place. Cool, yeah, yeah, we're having fun with these guitar strings, they're super fun. So now I'm gonna just pinch that one so it stays in place. And then this one, we can pinch it. So it'll stay in place. I won't do two earrings. I'll just do a single one and then I'll make the other one after the live stream to, um, 
just to uh, have a finished pair. So now Joan's idea was to bend the wire that was inside the coiled wire. So let's try that. Let me get my tools. And here's the round, uh, the round uh, pliers. So let's just take this and bring it around towards the inside. Yeah, it's very, very stiff, but it can be done. Wow, I am blown away, mind blown. There we go. So there's one and let's do the other side. Make cool earrings with the guitar strings and your note. Yes, exactly. That would be cool. Maybe we can hang a, that's a great idea, uh, Ginger. Why don't we try that where we hang a little dangly uh, note. I was gonna hangle some, a uh, hangle. Is that a word? Hangle. No, I was gonna hang some beads. I don't even know where that word came from. And then, so we've got these loops. Is that closed properly? Yeah, I think so. Uh, one side I'd taken a little more of the wire off than the other. And then if this goes here, and then we could we could definitely dangle. Oh, I was mixing hang hang and dangle. That's where I got hangle. I kind of like it though. I should write that down. <laughs> I gotta write that with my yeah, I gotta write it down in my because I'm actually making a video on all my like terms on my um my wire art and jewelry making terms so i'm gonna write down oh look at this stuck to the end of my pen i'm gonna write down hangle hangle equals hang plus dangle that's going in the video so let's let's hangle our bead down there and then now we're going to like pot, put those together so to make the treble clef and I'll show you the hack again to make them the same size. So let's do our treble clef. And uh, thank you, Ginger, for this great idea. I love that. So now we're going to take this and we are going to take this one. So you cut your two wires the same size. Let me move some of this other stuff out of the way. And we are going to take this, take your round pliers, we're going to bend this one up. Now to get the treble clefts the same size, this is a great hack. So let's see about, woo, how, about how long we're gonna need to make them. Yeah, not too long, not too short. And then what you do, keep these lined up. I do have a video about a jewelry hack on how to make two earrings the same size and how to make the two treble clefts the same size. So this is how I do it. And then just down, okay, we go like that down. This might be a little bit long. I can always adjust it after if I wanted to. Bring that one down and then you take the round pliers again or a round form and there you have your basic shape. Maybe I'm gonna bring that up a little bit and that one up a little bit. So there's your basic shape for the treble clef and then you remove them, separate them. Put this one at the side for the next earring and then we're going to take this and continue Bend it to the back though, guys. Like this is going to the left, up, down, and then this wire you're bending to the back. And we're going to, a lot of people have trouble with like what direction the treble clef goes. I remember when I first started doing them, uh, my mom had to advise me because she's a musician. So I was getting them all like lopsided and crooked. So now this is where you do the magic trick. And when I do this with kids, I'm, I always go abracadabra kadu, and then we go, Wee! It's a treble clef. So that's fun. And now we're going to take this and go around here. And then we're just going to bend this around to the back. And then we're going to clip it like that. Oh, clip. And we're going, because you're hungry. Oh, hangry is when you're, yeah, hungry and angry. That's right. So it's like, it's like that, hangle. Okay, so now, then we need to do the little loop at the bottom. So we're gonna do a little loop here. I'll do the other one after, but for now I'll just do this one. And we're going to clip that one, okay? And there we go. So, hang it there. <laughs> there we go, so, that, so there we've got this one. And now we want to hang it in here, right? want to hangle it in there. So let me get a smaller jump ring. I have some smaller ones here. They're not the best color, but they're okay. I'm just going to grab a little sip of water. There we go. A little parched. And now we're going to open this one up. 
put on our treble clef, and then we want to line, this I'm not 100% sure how this is gonna work. So we might have to add, yeah, this might, it, like it might pull apart, right? So I don't know if this is gonna work well or not. We might have to put some other, I think we might have to put some other jump rings on there. This I haven't, I haven't thought forward to this. Clip, clip it and angle it, <laughs> exactly. So now we're gonna take this, uh, put it through there. I think there's gonna be too much tension on this, but you don't know until you try it, right? So I put it through both wires, and then I'm gonna close it up, and then I might have to backtrack. I'm gonna ruin my fingernail. So there, we've got that there. It's not too bad, oh, it's not too bad. So guys, let's get an earring hook, and if I can find one. I did take some earring hooks out and put them on at the side to be sure. Let's just put this here so you guys can see it while I scrounge around for my gold earring hooks, which I thought I took out and put at the side, but I can't find them. So here's one. Here's a gold earring hook. Okay. Uh, trebles seem to form as beautifully. Yeah, it just takes practice for that. Okay. And now we're good. Gaming has, I have three questions. So if you have questions about jewelry making, you can email me at info at heatherboydwire.com. And uh, also you can join the Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, and ask any questions about wire art and jewelry making in the group. So now we're gonna attach this one to the top, and we're gonna just close that one up. And there we have, oh my goodness, uh, Ginger, that was a brilliant idea for the treble clef, and Joan, that was a brilliant idea to trim the end. So if you wanna hang that lower, you can always add another jump ring or something, but that is super, super cool. Wow, what a team we are, guys. That's awesome. Hi, Emmett. So now what we have so far is we have the bracelet. We have a little more fancy bracelet. We have the earring. And then we also have this from last uh, Tip Tuesday, which is the guitar pick with the guitar strings. Now, what I want to do now is see about making a ring. This one, it does have a, it's very elongated. So if you want it not so elongated, I wonder if you can just like bend it that way a little bit, just to change the shape a bit. You could probably, yeah, look, we can just bend it out a little bit. If you want the shape, to be more like of a teardrop type thing. So you can definitely manipulate the shape. This one, it seems okay. I think it's cool. So that's awesome. So now what about a ring, guys? Uh, I love these lives, awesome. Well, we're definitely uh, working together and working out uh, solutions, which I love. You know, it's we none of us can live in a bubble and we all need each other for inspiration and uh, and it's fun, right? So now let's see if we can do a ring. I'm going to use maybe this one, which is a little thicker. I uh, haven't thought this one too far in advance. Let me just see if I have any ends left on these. Oh, I do also have, yeah, I mean, I have this end, but it's not, I mean, it's not, you could do something like that with an end, with a with a ring, but I don't know how beautiful it is. It's it's not too bad. Like if you just let me just play with this for a minute. Sometimes sometimes you get ideas when you just play with the materials rather than trying to come up with an idea right away. Sometimes it's a good idea just to play around with it. Like, this is cool. I bet you could do like a choker or something with that. That would be interesting. And you just like kind of adjustable, stick it around your neck and just, I don't know, like a lariat. It almost looks like a lariat type necklace. So that's interesting. A uh, new niche with the guitar strings. Yes, exactly. Where are you from? We're in Montreal here. And Lorraine says, what gauge wire are you using, please? So I don't have a wire gauge. These are guitar strings. This one looks like it's about 18 gauge, possibly. And this one's about 20 gauge. So um, I, I can't tell you exactly, exactly, but that's about right. So now I bet you could Google search uh, gauge size of guitar strings and it might come up with the answer. So what I'm thinking is like for, a, how can we do it for ring? This is not gonna work for the ring because it's, um, this is gonna be too long and stiff at the end. So maybe we're gonna use the idea, like Joan said, where you pull it back and uh, use this end of the wire to bend it around. So 
how are we going to do this? Like, this is kind of stiff. I don't even know if it's going to work as a ring, but we can try it. But what I think you would have to do first is wind it around a smaller round form. Oh, you're very welcome. So now, uh, what gauge wire should I use for making rings? So rings in general, I use 18 gauge or 20 gauge wire for the rings. It depends on the design. And I do have a playlist of ring, to, ring tutorials on my channel. And usually in the tutorial, I'll explain which gauge that you use. So you can definitely uh, check out that, uh, that playlist. And uh, there's lots of different ideas. The 18 gauge is, is good, especially for a single band for a ring, because it'll, it'll uh, be stronger. But 20, you can get away with 20 gauge, especially if you double loop the ring. So now we're just gonna go Watertown, 20 miles from Canadian border. Cool, very nice. I've never been to Watertown. I've been to New York and Vermont. Uh, yeah, so this is really tricky because it's not really holding its shape, but let me, just because this is getting in the way, I'm just gonna cut that. I'm gonna try to find a smaller round form to see what I could do. This is almost like memory wire, it's so stiff. So now, let me move some of this stuff out of the way too. I've got a lot of things in the screen here. It's gonna move some of these out of the way a little bit. And let's see what I could do if I wind it around a smaller uh, round form because you really have to uh, set the curve, you know, it's, it's, it'll hold, it should hold its shape, but you have to start with a smaller uh, curved size and then it'll spring back. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to, trying to go around and around. So now around we go, we're going to just wind it around and whoa, there it goes again, but we're getting better. We're getting, the size is getting much better. So that's good. So round and round here and perfect. TYT Faust says, how are you? Good, all good here. So now we're gonna just wind that up. So you see it's it's better now, like it's it's sort of more of a ring size. So what you can do now is we can go ahead and I think I wanna do it more all the way to the top because if we can take advantage of that piece that's already uh, stripped, that would be better. So there we go. So we're gonna go around here and just pull it all the way around until it's nice and tight. It's a little bit off. Oop, there goes my ring form. Form. So we're gonna just go around here until it's nicely in place. I'm gonna go around one more time. Yeah, just to try to keep it, like it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, but I'm just trying to get it a nice consistent loop. We're gonna, we're gonna fight with it for a couple of minutes and then we're gonna go from there. I love your rings, thank you. Well, this is, this one's a total experiment. You guys are on the ground floor of this design uh, doing a guitar string, whoa, ring. So there we go. So now it's maybe getting a little bit too tight, but what I'm thinking is on the end, maybe we could put a little bead or something on there. Like, I don't think we need to like twist it like clothes type of thing. We could put a bead in the middle or we can put one up here. Yeah, because if we were gonna put a bead in the middle, I wonder if that would work. Okay, just because I know it doesn't matter if I like make a mistake or whatever. I'm gonna just try, I'm gonna try to bend that up at a right angle, like super sharp bend. And then I'm gonna bend this like over at a right angle, super sharp bend. And then I'm going to get a bead. Now, the reason I'm doing this is so the bead doesn't sit flat against the finger. I want it to have like a little bit of height there. So now I'm going to take a, this and around. So cool. Yeah, this is fun. I'm definitely having fun. So now I'm going to string on a hematite bead. Okay, we're going to try to stick on this hematite bead, go all the way around. It's a good thing I did the loop the springy part first. I think it's much better. So this is going to come around here and there, that's interesting. So that's the hematite bead, but now we have to like really give it a good sharp bend down. So this might be tricky. Just trying to push it right down. Yeah, it's not bad. So it's holding in place and then we want to bend it across that way. So that way the bead sits on the finger and doesn't like jab into your finger. So you see how it's, I've made it in a way that it goes in and out type of thing. So that's cool. So maybe I should have done it a little bit 
this part a little bit tighter. So I'm going to bring this one in here. Hi, Tina. Uh, how are you? You watch your tutorials? Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Uh, why is the wire thinner at the end? So the wire is thin here because it's not wound with the spring wire. This is a spring wire and then it stops right there. So that's why it's thinner on one end. And now, did I drop my pen? That's the question. Oh, here I have another one. So here's the pen. So now, now we're going to just take this and continue like this got a little bit unraveled so I'm going to try to tighten it up again so we're going to go around here tighten it up I think there's a lot of potential with this I maybe didn't center the bead as well as I should have but it's not too bad so we're just going to bring this one up here tighten it up a little bit more perfect okay so yeah this see I probably should have centered it a little better because there's more spring on that end than that end. So if we do that and that, because the idea here would be you can just, I don't know if it's gonna work. Now I've, I've, I've tightened it up a little bit too much, but it's got a lot of like give. So you can just un, we're kind of unraveling it a little bit here. So it's very springy. So let me just see what we can do here. It's almost like one of those memory wire bracelets where you kind of like bring it around. So that's sort of interesting. I just have to think what I want to do with it because I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if you need that many springs on it or not. And maybe you can wind it around. So let's just see what else. Zori says your tutorials are amazing. Yay! Oh, that's so fun. So now, um, do I want to leave this like loose or do I wind want to wind it around? I think there's a couple of options. I'm just wondering if you could make like a little spiral or something like this. This might be interesting. Let me just see what I can do with this. Uh, I don't know if I can do anything or not. Uh, do I want to do anything with this? Uh, 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 I can try. Let me just try to see what happens if we try to spiral this. And otherwise, I wouldn't mind to spiral just the part that's sprung. But let's, if we try to make a spiral with this, let's just try it. We'll go around and around. It's a little, whoops, it's a little stiff to try to spiral, but just to see how it's going to look. Yeah, it's very different working with this wire. It's very, uh, very, very stiff, so that's okay. We're just gonna bring this one around and around here. What if we just bring this one in a little bit? Like, this is probably gonna be way too big now, so we'll just see. Bring this one around with our flat pliers. I don't usually make spirals like this, but because the wire, whoa, that didn't work. It's got a little kink. The wire is very, very stiff. I, I usually do my spirals on a ring cone, but because it's very stiff wire, it's not really holding its shape very well. So we're just gonna bring this one around. Yeah, so there's, I mean, there's that idea if it was a little bit more, yeah, pretend it's nice, nice and softly bent with no kinks, but that's okay. We're just gonna see what we can do with this. Bring this one around all the way around, perfect. You're on 48K subscribers, cool. 20K to go, 20K to go to what? <laughs> That's funny. So I'm still learning, I've made a rose ring, wonderful. That's fun, the rose rings are really pretty. Yeah, I love those wire roses, I find them beautiful. And very easy, like relatively easy to do, to get a nice effect uh and make it look quite realistic so yeah this spiral got really wonky but that would be sort of the idea to do something like this but i'm not sure i like the way that looks or not let's try one on the other end with a different kind of spiral so what if we just take this end i don't know how to make a spiral with the with the uh with the spring ring but i'm going to just try like this where i take this bring it around I don't want to damage it, but I also want to try it. So we're going to bring this one around here. It's not too bad. It's kind of like holding its shape pretty well. So we're just going to go around here. 
you just have to go really slowly. So we're going to go around here, go around really slowly and try to form like a kind, I like the way it looks. We're just going to bring it around a little bit more, a little bit more because I want to make a decent size spiral with this. So we've got that and I wonder if we can, oh, maybe I could just do it that way. We're just going to bring that one in and just spiral it in a bit. I'm going to have sore hands after this. So we're going to go around and around. Oh, 2K. <laughs> okay, now I get it. There, yeah, there you go. Perfect. So now we've got this spiral here. It's not super holding its shape, but it's not too bad. And it's. I think it's the same thing where you have to almost do it more tightly than you need and then it'll spring back. So what if we just kind of bring it in a little more tightly than we need and then it'll spring back. So yeah, you just literally I feel like I'm fighting with this wire, but uh but that's cuz it's it's it has to be really strong, right? So if we do that, this is a pretty big spiral. I ended up doing like more than I wanted, but it's kind of interesting. So this one here we can compare how it looks with the just the wire and with the spring wire. So this I won't have enough to do a, a a spring or a spiral with the spring wire, but this is sort of interesting. It's kind of I kind of like where I'm going with this, but it might need some work. So how did you get into jewelry making? So I actually used to work as a graphic artist many years ago. And then 30 years ago, I moved to uh, Montreal only because the cost of living in Toronto was way too high. And I just decided I was st had started making some hand painted uh, buttons and some clothing accessories and stuff. And I just decided to start selling on the street. So I got a permit to sell jewelry or not jewelry, like accessories on the street. And then I just gradually morphed into jewelry. I just taught myself. And then I met my husband that summer and he was making little wire bicycles. So he introduced me to the wire and the rest is history. So uh, yeah, I just love wire work because it's very similar to drawing. Wow, this is this is kind of very strange and 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 kind of interesting. Let me try it the other way around. Streets of Montreal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, we're a good team. So so there we go, guys. This probably is get would get caught on everything. I like, I really like that. I don't really like that one there. So maybe we can do something with that to remove it. Let me see what we can do. It's interesting and cool. Yeah, 100% interesting and cool, but I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it. I'm actually going to cut that spiral off. So at least you guys have seen what it looks like. And then we're going to go from there. So what I want to do is just cut that. And I'm going to just try to... You almost don't, don't even need to finish that end because it's not sharp. That's the interesting thing. It's not really sharp. But I'm going to close it off. Uh, all in the family. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Mimi helps us with our sort of admin and packaging and all that kind of stuff as well. And she's a great photographer. So there we go. We're going to go around here and around and around. And we're going to close that circle a little bit. Yeah, so that way at least the circle is somewhat closed. Uh, this is definitely interesting. I think there's a lot of potential for this. It's like a, a knuckle ring. It's like sits right on my knuckle. But uh, yeah, I think the ring is definitely going to take some work. That's kind of cool. But let me try one more quick one. And then we're going to go from there. So what I want to do is I had these other wires, but these are, okay, these are not, springy wires these are just like wire they look like memory wire because not I guess not all of the guitar springs are wound with wire some of them are um some of them are just metal so this the smaller strings are just metal and then the larger ones are round wound with wire so let me get a smaller the smaller spring to try the ring with and I'm just going to try something super easy I have this bead that's kind of cool it looks like a planet or something and then what if we just, okay, let me try to do this again where we bend the end. So I'm going to cut, 
go right here. Uh, only the low strings are wound. Okay, that makes sense. So then if we're going to go there and then this one, we're going to, let me bend it. I'm going to just start it with the pliers and then bring this one around. There we go. And then we're going to bring it down there. So if we start with something like this, because I do have a tutorial for a ring um, that's just like a very simple wound ring. So let's try it with a guitar string and if, see if it works at all. So now we're going to go here. Now I'm talking to Robin. Nice. Say hi to Robin for sure. We're going to go here. Uh, yeah, the thinner strings are higher notes. That makes sense. So now if we start like this, I'm going to grab another sip of water. There we go. And I'm going to take this and wind it around. This might or might not hold its shape. And we're going to wind that one around here. And then this one around here. Now this is where we want to try to wind it all together. So I'm going to maybe hold this one first. Verify that it's at the position on the ring cone that's going to fit your finger because it's going to be a little bit hard to wangle with. So just go around once. Yeah, just I'm just going to go around once. I'm going to hold this. I'm going to wind this around. Okay, we're just going to wind this one around a little bit. But I'm not 100% sure this is going to work. So if we go around here. Okay, let me just try one side at a time. So, yeah, we got to be careful. This is going to not snap. So now... Uh, okay, so we're going to go around here and she just says, you know what, you can actually make a ring bracelet like that. So ring bracelet, do you mean like we did with the bracelets? Uh, just let me know in the comments what you mean. Yeah, so there we're going to go around here and let's try to wind this one around here. I'm thinking this might or might not work because it's so stiff. But say we bring it in here. Oh, we could do a cool knot with this too, eh? Like a Celtic style knot. Yeah, so if we just bring it right around, whether it's good, yeah, it might hold its shape. See, I've got it around there. I'll finish it off a little better after. Oh yeah, no, something, uh, what I wanted to do was wind it around both wires. So let me try that again. So we're gonna go around here. I wanted to wind it around both wires, so let me bring it around here. Uh, pull this back a little bit and wind it around both wires. So we're going to bring that here, wind it around both wires here, okay? And then make sure these are one beside each other. Put that back on the ring cone, okay? Pull that one up a bit. There we go. Well, these are kind of overlapping, so what do I want to do with that? I want to bring that one to the other side of that one. Wow, these are so springy. So let me just hold that one. Bring this one over to the other side. Yeah, I might have to get some help with my pliers. Bring that one over to there. Yeah, and that one I want it to be on that side. So, because you want to keep the wires somewhat like parallel type of things. You want to keep those wires parallel. So, wow, fighting with this thing. So there we go. So we're going to hold that in shape. And now I'm going to wind around here again. So I'm going to take this one. You can even leave it. Actually, it's kind of cool when it's a little bit loose. I don't mind that. So we're going to go around here again. Okay, and hopefully that's going to hold in place. Whoops. Yeah, we don't want it too loose either, or it's not going to it's not going to hold in place. If you have too many wires, it might not hold. So let's maybe just go around once. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, because the more you wind it around, the more it's going to like spring up and come off. If that hole was bigger in the ring, we could actually go through the hole a couple of times. Um, let me just see. What if we... I'm just going to cut the end a little bit. I'm just wondering if we just like went through it like a little knot thing that might work. Okay, we're just gonna knot it through there. Okay, there. Uh, hmm. Let's see, go through there. And maybe we have to go through it again. I might have to undo all this if it's not gonna work. 
But I, what I want to do is I'm trying to make it look a little bit fancy, but also having it solid so it won't come out of place. I think it's holding its shape. Seems all right. And then now I'm going to remove it from this ring. I posted a photo of my earrings on Discord. Good. So after the live stream, we can hop over to Discord and check in the post live stream section for uh, pictures that people are going to do um, are working on the guitar st uh, string project. And it doesn't have to be right after the live. You guys can post any time. And uh, I won't be able to show it on the live stream. I only show pictures when we do the Let's Get Wired uh, live streams because I have my iPad ready uh, for that. But uh, I don't have my iPad ready today. So we'll have to look after the, after the live stream in the post live stream section. So now I'm just trying to tighten this up a little bit. And I also want to go ahead and, oh, well, that's interesting because it got hooked on this wire, which is actually good. And then we're going to take this one and wind it around. But now finishing these wires is going to be tricky, right? So let's bring that one around here and up here. And we want to make sure it's going to hold in place. So we're just going to bring that one right around and then we can give it a clip or just stick the end in there. It might be easier just to stick the end in there. Just make sure you don't have any sharp ends sticking out. So now this one too is kind of like moving over a little bit. So let me just see what we can do about that. We also might be able to hook it through some of these as well. I don't know if it's necessary or not. We're just going to see. Yeah, because see it's kind of like it's falling over there a little bit. So maybe what we can do with that is I'm going to just back it up a little bit. Just back it up here and go through one of these, at least one of these to hold it in place. Yeah, there it's not gonna, it's not gonna slide as much. So we'll put it through one of those and then through here. Okay, nice. Joan, thank you. I can hardly wait to get more strings. Yay, fantastic. Yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys are going to create. Be sure to share pictures in the, uh, in the Discord group. So we're gonna go here and then now I want to finish this end. So now we have to like really pull that and finish it around. So I'm going to bring it around again. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just try to do it once. I don't want to, I don't want to do it too much. So we're just going to pull that one out a little bit more. Maybe if I squish it a little bit. Okay, we're just going to squish that one a little bit. Yeah, if you give it a good pinch, it should be fine because you just don't want it springing back and then Cut it like quite close in there. Uh, Cookies and Cream says, I love your channel. Thank you. Oh, no worries. You can watch the replay. We're just finishing up, but uh, you can definitely watch the replay. So I've, I've tucked those ends in there. They seem pretty good. So now we want to put it back on the ring comb and have a look at this. Uh, now at this point, I guess you could come in and do something with all these little bits. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do to like maybe because I see it's pushing down here so maybe we can adjust it three uh, three pH gaming my name is Rita hi Rita fantastic so now we are going to move these ones up I want to just try to adjust these in a way that they're going to have a little bit oh now maybe I kinked it a little bit but Let's just try to adjust these in a way that they're, it gives a little bit more, yeah, dy dynamism to the design. So we're gonna bring this one up. You can kind of pinch it. Yeah, this one's kind of coming up a little bit, but I think there's, I think you could really play around with this, play around with the wires, adjust it a little bit. You just wanna make sure they're secured enough that they're not going to spring back and stuff. So we gotta get that. So. Just keep playing around with them until they you think they're like in a good position. I'm gonna bring that one up a little bit. Yeah, so I think I'll just stop at that, but it's very interesting. So there is our, whoo, I'm exhausted. There is our guitar string ring. It is very funky. It almost looks like a planet or something. You could do a bunch of little beads and it could be like the solar system. That would be really cool. Uh, yeah, I've, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna have very sore hands after this too, but let's see what we made guys on the live stream. So here's the funky ring. Here's another like super funky ring. I call this my knuckle ring because it kind of goes like right over my knuckle there. And there's this ring. So we've got a couple of rings. And then we have do 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 do. We have the bracelet, single bracelet, we have the triple bracelet. And we have this beautiful earring that uh, Joan and Ginger had some wonderful suggestions for that. So there's the in earring. And then from Tip Tuesday is the guitar pick uh, pendant with the uh, wrapped with the guitar strings. So the Discord link. Mustafa, can you put the Discord link again? I think you put it already. Uh, so for people can join Discord, let me just... Um, I think it's that one that works, say Mustafa, the, the one that you had with the, um, I'm just gonna find it. Uh, I think Mustafa has the one that you can join. So just let me make sure, let me know if that is the correct uh, one for joining the Discord group. And then you're gonna share in the Let's Get Wired section for, or not Let's Get Wired, sorry, in the, le in the, in the, post live stream section. So here we go. And we're going to do that. So there's discord. And then you're going to do share any work with the guitar strings. Anything from the live streams will be in the post live streams section. There you go, guys. So you guys can share there. I'm going to hop over there now. I'm going to flip the screen. Mm, let me just see. Perfect, so there we go. Oh, my cupboard's open, hang on. Perfect. So guys, yeah, I'm gonna hop over to Discord now in the post live stream section. I'll post pictures of this uh, of this work. I love the earring especially, that turned out really well, super fun. Uh, is there any rings I can make with 12 gauge wire? 12 gauge sounds super, super heavy duty. You might be able to do some simple bands, maybe with like a little spiral or something, but I don't even know if there are a lot of beads that fit on 12 gauge wire, but you can certainly try. And you can even maybe look up tutorials for rings made with thick gauge wire. You can have a look and see. So guys, yes, don't forget to subscribe. Yes, thank you so much, Mustafa. Uh, thank you, Mustafa and Amber for uh, taking care of moderating the chat. I really, really appreciate it. We had such a fun time today, guys. So I'm gonna hop over to Discord now if you wanna share your pics or just hop on and join the conversation. And we'll see you guys the next time. Bye.